what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to be testing the umbrella casting net that i had just got off of amazon and this thing is supposed to be for crawdads minnows crabs and little bait fish like that so we're going to be going over there to the lake and we're going to be testing this thing out and I don't know what I'm going to use for bait right now, but that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. And I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who's came over and subscribed to the channel that's been liking the videos, that's been commenting on the videos. That is really awesome, you guys. Y'all are doing a great job with that, and I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this thing up. And by the way, you guys, today is Friday, so y'all know what that means. It's going to be the first giveaway that I'm going to be doing here on this channel out of four giveaways for every Friday in the month of June. But y'all are going to have to wait till later on into the video to see what's up for grabs and how you can enter to win. But let's go ahead and set this thing up and let's take a look at this umbrella casting net. All right, you guys. So this is how it came packaged just like this. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. Here's some wire. I guess that goes to the very top of it. And here's your net. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that for a second. Now with this, what we're gonna do, I guess you just simply pull the string. There we go. So we're gonna pull the string and it's gonna lock into place just like that. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes for the bait fish. And then we have the, the bait hole right there. But as y'all can see, there's a hole going all the way through it. So I don't know how well that's going to do right there. And I don't know how sturdy this thing's going to be. They said this is for crawdads and crabs and stuff. But I can already tell that this mesh is very thin and it's held by these itty bitty little zip ties right here see the zip ties so hopefully we don't catch a turtle or anything with teeth because i have a feeling it's going to rip this thing to shreds so that's how you, we're going to do that now for bait you guys i'll probably just use like maybe some hot dogs or some um lunch meat and maybe some bread and stuff now i know bread is going to mush up a lot in here but I really don't know what to use for bait. If you guys got a better idea, please drop them down in the comments below. This is my first time doing this. So let's see, how do we undo this? Oh, we just gonna, all right, we're gonna pop it like that and it's gonna close right on up. Awesome, so that's pretty simple. All right, you guys, well, let's go ahead and go on to the lake and let's try to catch some bait fish with this thing. All right, let's go. Guys, check this out. It's two black snakes right here, and they're mating. They're pinned up together. Oh, that's his, that's his head. Look at him. Look at that snake right there. It's two black snakes. I'm trying to pull this branch back so you guys can see. That, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Guys, don't do what I'm doing. I am a trained professional. Not really, but still don't do what I'm doing. He's right there, you guys. It's hard to pick it up on the camera. I think they let go of each other. I don't know where the other one went. That's a big black snake right there. 
Guys, that was crazy. Now, when I was walking down the path, I had seen something slithering into the grass a little bit because the grass over here is a lot shorter than the grass that's further back. And I seen something black slithering through. Well, I knew it was a snake, but I didn't know it was two snakes joined together. That was really wild. I've never seen nothing like that in the wild before. Really cool. But anyways, you guys, as you can see, I'm here at the lake behind me. I got some bait. Now, what I'm going to be using for bait is some lunch meat, some bread. I got some bologna and stuff like that. Well, I'm just going to set it out right here for about 30, 45 minutes or so. And I'm going to see what we can catch out here. In the meantime, I'm going to throw around a little fishing pole, my brand new bait caster. Now, this is a Taylor... This is from Taylor Tackle. It's a uh, medium heavy, and I think the um, reel is fast action. The gear ratio is 631. And I originally did an uh, unboxing on this, but I didn't really like the way the video came out, so I just trashed it. So this is seven foot. I got 15 pound fluorocarbon on it. And this is a great rod, you guys. If you're starting out with bait casting or you, you've been fishing with bait casting rods, this is all around a really great pole. If you wanna check this rod out and you're looking for a new bait caster, I highly recommend it. I have thrown it around a few times and I love this setup. It's a perfect setup. I will leave the link in the description along with the casting net that I'm using today. So. Let me go ahead and get this thing baited up and we're going to see if we can catch some bait fish. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and set this thing up, you guys. Now, I don't know how strong this string is that comes with it. You, if you plan on getting this casting net, I strongly recommend using stronger line. I'm pretty sure like some pa uh, paracord 550 would be a lot stronger than this stuff right here. So we're just going to pull the ring. We're going to lock it in place just like that. I'm going to throw some bread up in here. Lunch meat. Uh, let's try that first. I don't think we need any balloon in there. Throw that aside. Alright, you guys. You know what? I might have to take my shoes off for this one. We're going to have to get in the water, you guys. All right, you guys, it's in. So let's give it about 30, 45 minutes or so. And we're gonna check it and see if we caught anything on it. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, so while we wait, I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing this new bait caster. Let me show you what I'm throwing real quick. I'm throwing the Sexy Shad Spinner Bait, the Zinger and a half ounce from the Fugan Squad. All right. See if we can catch us a fish. I'm telling you guys, this rod throws awesome. Now, 
I don't know if we're going to catch anything today or not, but it really don't matter to me because what this video is mainly about is testing out the casting nut and the giveaway, which that's coming here soon. I think y'all are really going to like what is up for grabs for the first week. Man, this thing throws like a dream. Highly recommend this rod. And it is a two piece, so you can store it a lot easier. I'll tell you what, you guys, this would be a hell of a spot to uh, do some frog gigging. This spot is loaded with frogs. Now, me personally, I've never went frog gigging nor have I ever had frog legs, but everybody says it's better than chicken. So if you guys have had frog legs, drop a comment down below and let me know if they're good or not, or if you enjoyed it. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. And I, I know I've already said it once in this video, you guys, but I really want to say thank you to everybody who's new here, who's joined the Mikey Outdoors family. That really means a lot, you guys. My goal is to try to hit 200 subscribers by the end of this month. That would be so cool. So thanks again. Just got birds nesting. So thanks again to everybody. I truly love you guys. Y'all are like family to me. That is amazing. We are slowly growing, you guys. Slowly growing. And what's cool with this rod, you guys, is when you get a major backlash, like I just, well, mine won't that major. But you can actually take the reel out. Like you can flip this down and pull this out. And it's, a, it's allowing you to take this spool out so you can unwrap your line a little easier. So that, I thought that was a pretty cool little feature. Feature. Sorry guys, I'm not good at English today. Alright guys, before I forget to tell you guys... I want you guys to stay tuned for the next few videos. I think they're going to be some really good ones. I got a lot of cool stuff planned. And I also got a lot of cool, different, unique baits that I'm going to be trying. Now, I don't know if I'm going to try them in this lake. I might have to go to a different location. But I don't know yet. I might try a couple of them here. But yeah, you guys, stay tuned for the next couple videos that's going to be coming out here soon. Got some really cool stuff planned. I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. Now, I don't know if we're going to catch fish off them baits, but they are some pretty cool baits. Didn't get no bites off the spinner bait. It's been about 15 minutes or so. I just went over there and checked on the net and I can see a whole bunch of little minnows swimming all around it. I'm not sure if they're in the net, so I'm going to give it about 20, 30 more minutes and hopefully this will be a successful video. So what I did, you guys, was a little bait change. I got me the jackhammer out and I got the spike it dipping glow right there. This stuff is strong and I accidentally just spilt some on my finger, so try not to do that, you guys. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to dip the tail down in there just a little bit. You don't want too much of this stuff. It's really strong. Just leave it in there for a second. You want to shake it off. And as soon as it touches water, it dries immediately. So I'm going to hopefully, hopefully you guys, this stuff right here will make a little bit of a difference. I'm not sure. Now, when I was fishing Ned Rigs down there at the uh, creek, I was using that stuff a little bit 
And I was actually catching little bluegills. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but at least I caught something using it. So I'm gonna throw around this jackhammer. Yeah, that stuff's on there on my fingers for good for a little while. See if I can't get a bite off the jackhammer. Now everybody's thing is you guys is jackhammer versus thunder cricket, you know? And my personal preference, don't get me wrong, I love the jackhammer. It works phenomenal. But it, I don't know if it has something to do with my setup, but I feel like I get a lot more vibration out of the thunder cricket. It's like I can feel every little thing. If I run over a piece of grass, I can feel it. If I'm bumping off of rocks or something, I can feel it. I'm not saying that I can't feel it with the jackhammer, so don't get me wrong there. I'm just saying I can feel it a lot better with the Thunder Cricket. And like I said, I don't know if it has something to do with my setup or what, you guys. But if I was to pick, I think I'm going to go with the Thunder Cricket. Had a little backlash action. That's all right. It won't dig. got to work with me guys I'm new to these bait casters this is actually my first year using one I picked one up I think last year or the year before that I tried throwing it my very first cast I birds nest the hell out of that thing and I was using spinning rods ever since then so I'm giving it a go again and so far I really like it but see back then I didn't know about adjusting your knobs and your brakes and stuff. I think the one that I had, I don't think I had um, the magnetic brakes on it. So they definitely make a big difference with the magnetic brakes. Caught nothing yet, but I was standing here fishing and like this little yellow Jackson sweater went creeping across the water and like a bluegill or something went to hit it and they missed it. And I seen that the spider was yellow and I was like, Bro, I got that color in my tackle box. So I went ahead and rigged up a spider. And I'm gonna see if I can catch this fish. Now this is one of the new spiders that I was talking about in a previous video. This is a Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider. This is a half ounce. So I'm gonna try to catch this fish, you guys. bluegill or whatever it was I'm assuming it was a bluegill it was right here close to the bank I'm hoping that he strikes again that would be really cool All right, guys, I'm not catching anything. So let's go ahead and go check this net. Let's see if we caught some bait fish. Let's go. All right, you guys, so it's been right at an hour. We're gonna go ahead and check this thing and we're gonna see if we got anything in it. So the question is, does an umbrella fishing net really catch fish? Now, like I said, I got this thing off of Amazon. So let's go ahead and check it and see what's in it. We got some nice stuff in here you guys look at this we got some bluegills we got some minnows we got a whole lot of little baby bluegills all right so check it out you guys we got a whole bunch of little bluegills in here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two we got 22 little bluegills in here. Look at that little guy. Very cool. Go ahead and throw him back in. These actually look like, no, they're all baby bluegills. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and let these fish go. At least we know this thing does work. Link will be down in the description if you would like to pick one up. 
Look at that little guy. Oh, flopped out of my hand. Very cool. Look at, let's get one of these big guys out. Come here, buddy. Come here. Look at that one, you guys. That's a nice one. Nice little bluegill. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. Got another nice one in here, too. Look at him. Look at that one. Very cool. Beautiful fish. All right, guy. Thanks for playing. I'll go ahead and release you. There he goes. Oh. He didn't go nowhere. Going out there, buddy. There you go. Look at all these bluegills, you guys. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in my hand. There you go, guys. I still got a whole lot more. I think there was a little more than what I originally said. Probably about 30 fish in this net that we caught in right at an hour. Going back there. Look at that little guy. So if you guys want to see me come back out here and use this net and catch some bait fish and use them as bait, drop a comment down below and let me know that's what you guys want to see. Or if you guys got a Pacific lure in mind, I could come out here and do a one lure challenge. So drop a lure down in the comments that you would like to see me come out here and fish. I'll come out here for about an hour or so and see if we can't catch something off of them. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and keep pulling bluegills out. I'm gonna try to get them all up and then we're gonna go on back to the vehicle so we can talk about this giveaway. Let's see what's up for grabs and I'm gonna tell you guys how you can enter. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to this giveaway. So what I'm gonna be giving away first is gonna be the six cents prawn which seems to be everybody's favorite according to the comment section y'all blew that thing up with the prawn and this is in the green pumpkin juice and i'm going to go ahead and throw in the ridge worm green pumpkin juice as well so you're going to get the ridge worm you're also going to get a pack of the three yacht wide gap hooks right there but that's not it you guys I told you guys I'll throw in a surprise and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So right here I got four of the Booyah, I'll just show you all one by one. I got the Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher. I got that color which is, let's see if I can find it here. This is called the Cricket Frog. Now this is a nice little black, got a white belly, yellow side. We got that one. We also got the leopard frog. I got that one. I have the bullfrog. Nice little color on that. And I got a yellow one, you guys. So the winner is going to be able to pick their color of which frog they want. So you're going to get the prawn, the ridge worms, the pack of hooks, and one popping pad crasher from Booyah. So that's it, you guys. The winner will be announced Monday, I believe, in the video. And what do you have to do to enter? All you have to do is very simple. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Smash that like button on this video and drop a comment down below. If you don't drop a comment, I don't know who you are or anything. And I'm going to pick a winner from the comment section. And like I said, that will be in the next video. If I don't make a full video, then I'll just pop on Monday, record a short little thing, saying, hey, here's the winner, whatever. So good luck to everybody. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.